We've moved down to part B and part B actually asked us to describe the association in the graph above. So the way that we need to do that is we need to uh, use the acronym DOFS, D-O-F-S. D stands for direction. It's either going to be positive or negative. O are outliers. They'll clearly be obvious from the graph. Don't try and make something an outlier, that's an outlier or that's not. Uh, your form is either going to be linear or not linear, and your strength is going to be strong or weak. It's basically how closely it fits to a line. Um, so if I went ahead and I looked at the, the data up here, you can clearly see there's a positive relationship as the x the explanatory gets larger, so does the vacation, so it's a positive slope, so a positive association. Um, it's linear. It's definitely linear. You can see the line there, and it's pretty strong because if you think about where that line is going to be drawn, it's going to be pretty close to all those dots. Uh, the um, last thing is outliers. There's no outliers. I know people may question this, but I will tell you this isn't really an outlier. An outlier would be something where it'd be outside the pattern of the data here or way, way off. So like if we perhaps had someone who like made a thousand dollars a year and spent nothing, that might be an outlier. And even then I might question that. So the way you'd want to read that is there is a relatively strong positive linear relationship between income and vacation spending with no apparent outliers. So I checked off the strength, I checked off the direction, I checked off the form, I gave context, and I addressed the outliers.